three, two, one. Yes, that's right, the famous 10 minute, one minute, 10 second challenge. The last time I attempted this, I was totally caught off guard by how short of an amount of time 10 minutes really is, let alone one minute and 10 seconds. I did not do very well, I wasn't happy with how it turned out. I put it up anyway, you can go see it, it's my old, I, I drew Venom for it. For this one, I decided to do Ben 10 characters because I was thinking, you know, 10, a whole bunch. So I was just like, ah, oh, let's do some Ben 10 aliens. But to make sure I still embarrass myself a little bit in this video, I decided not only to redo this challenge digitally, but after this, I'm going to do it traditionally and see how not great that turns out. I don't know, maybe it'll turn out better than I think. I mean, I really liked a lot of my Inktober drawings from the Inktober videos, so we'll see. But as people who follow this channel know, I don't work traditionally that much. I'm just starting to get back into it and I am enjoying it, but I'm not super practiced at it, so I'm curious to see how that will go. Now, for this drawing, I decided to lean into the tools of digital art because I'm doing a digital versus traditional, so I'm like, okay, let's use the tools at my disposal digitally. So I decided to draw Heat Blast, and I leaned into the fact that he's got glowy bits to him. A lot of his body is very glowy, it's, it's all, you know, fire kind of based. And instead of trying to draw in the fire underneath him, what I did was I just used the lasso tool, selected out the area that I wanted the fire to be in, and then dropped in a gradient from a bright yellow to a slightly darker orange. And that gave a nice gradient to the whole piece. And then I made his face and his other little body bits a nice dark red like they are in the show, put a little bit of gradient to some of them, and then just started doing shading over that. And I didn't think I'd have time to do any lighting, but luckily Luckily I did, so I added a little bit of rim lighting around the outside sections of his body bits. That way it would feel a little bit more like those bits are being affected by the lighting that's underneath them. And I also used a textured brush to do all the shading for this. It's just like a, a chalky textured brush. I hadn't used it in a while, but it's one I used to use all the time for shading when I wanted to give something a sort of rougher kind of feel. And I don't know exactly what the texture of his body bits are supposed to be, but I always picture it being a bit of a, a rocky, hardened magma kind of thing. And overall, I think this was a good character to choose. I enjoyed drawing it, and I didn't feel too, too rushed with this one. By the time it was coming down to the end, I was feeling pretty good about it. Well, you know, it's nothing particularly special, but it's sure a lot better than my two Venom digital drawings from the last time I tried this. So let's you know, see how one minute goes. Presumably not well, but, but you know, we'll see. Maybe it'll go better. Well, that's distracting, but I'm not re-recording it. Go back to the video. Three, two, one. So for the one minute one, since I knew I had to go quick, I decided to actually select out the fire area first, throw that in, and then draw whatever I could on top of that, which was very, very, very little. And then I tried adding a bit of lighting, but really didn't have much time to get anything done. You know, that's kind of what I pictured my 10 second one looking like, so I can't even imagine how this next one's gonna go, but I guess we'll find out in about 10 seconds. Okay, I'm setting it to 15 seconds, but that's just so I have time to switch between the software before I won't start drawing until we actually hit 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Well, that's all she wrote for digital. Now I'm gonna go embarrass myself a whole bunch by attempting to do this traditionally. Oh boy. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right, for traditional, I decided to try drawing Upgrade from Ben 10. He's a character that a lot of people have requested I draw on my other Ben 10 episodes and I haven't yet. I'll probably draw him on here again at some point in my digital style because I really like how the Ben 10 aliens look in my digital coloring style. But for this, the reason I picked him was I was thinking 
that because I really liked my Inktober drawings, and specifically ones where I had a good level of black versus white, Upgrade already has a good level of black and white built into him, and then just a few streaks of green. So I thought, okay, this could work well, and I... I don't know if it was necessarily the right choice, because the problem with that, having large sections of black, is I need to take time to fill in that area with marker, which I did using just the Sharpies that I was using in my Inktober videos for this. And especially with those little streaks of green in there, it's hard to kind of draw around those and a bit time consuming without just going over them, especially because I want to use a big thick black marker to do that, but then it's harder to be precise. And then I also decided I wanted to try having a bit of green in there, so I used some pencil crayons and thought I might have time to do a bit more shading with them, and I definitely did not. It didn't turn out so great, and I definitely felt way more rushed on this drawing. Oh boy, that's not exactly a promising start. I kind of want to start over. No, you know what? I'll, I'll see this one through, I'll finish it, and then I'll do another round of this with traditional art once again, with a different character, but let's, let's finish this one, see if we can get something good out of one minute or ten seconds somehow. Three, two, one. Oh boy. All right, and I guess we might as well try the 10 seconds. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, jeez. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're. We're going again. Going again with Alien X. Let's try this again. All right, and three, two, one. Now Alien X, this one was a kind of weird choice because part of the problem with the last one, I think, was having the large sections of black that I had to fill in so I couldn't spend as much time doing details. And Alien X is pretty much just one large section of black with a bit of white rim outlining around him, and that's how you put the the sort of form into him, is by leaving some sections just white. So this one I'm a little bit conflicted on the end result. It does turn out better, but because Alien X is such a simple character, it would be hard for it to not turn out better. I also decided for this one what I would do is just color it all in black, and even though he has stars in him, I'd just add those in after the fact using a white pen, and I think that worked pretty well. I was happy with that. I also do end up having a little bit of time to add in some green pencil crayon on the Omnitrix, which technically might have that wrong. It might not be green when he's in his alien form. I think people have pointed that out to me in the past that I do that. But I like having the pop of green, so I don't know if it justifies adding that. It, it, it's probably wrong, but I still like adding the pop of green in on the drawing. And besides that, there's not too much else to say. I mean, he's a simple character. I drew him pretty much how he looks in Ben 10 Omniverse. That's the version that I was referencing for this, because I've drawn him digitally in his other design, so did Omniverse for this, but yeah, happy enough with it, I guess, and here it is. It's better, I think? Well, either way, let's get her done. Three, two, one. Ugh. Yikes. All right, let's get this over with. Three, two, one. Oh. Ah. Yikes. Well, that was sure something, but at least the digital art was a lot better. 
And maybe I'll try this again in another year. And like how the speed of my digital art got a lot better, maybe this time next year my speed of my traditional art will be a lot better. I mean, I definitely hope it would and think it will be. I'm gonna be practicing traditional art a lot more. But anyway, everybody, oh, you know what? The end board thing usually comes on over here, so I'm gonna move over here. That's all for this episode. Remember, this month's Popcross Community Redraw submission theme is Dungeons and Dragons. I'm excited to see what everyone's got. Submission rules are in the description below. And that's all for me today. I'm gonna go do some better, fun, light drawing. All right, everybody, goodbye.